Yo, what's going on? Hey, I'm Phil. I get to serve as a youth pastor here. Um, and the question I want to ask you today, this is your Devo thought of the day, is who's your gray beard? That's like, what? What's he talking about? Man, that little youngster. Um, here, here's what I mean. In 2 Timothy 2.2, 2, Paul's looking at Tim. Well, he's not looking at him. He's writing him a letter. He's writing Timothy a letter. And he goes, hey, he says, what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses and trust to faithful men or women um, who will be able to teach others also, right? And so he's basically saying, hey, what you've heard from me, go pass down to other people. He's calling Timothy to discipleship. And so the question I want to ask you is who are you actively discipling right now? Or who could you actively be asking to be your um, discipler, your gray beard? You know, a lot of times we look at the Great Commission and we see Jesus' charge to go make disciples and we're like, yeah, but how? Can I? It, it's really not as hard as we think it is. It's really taking what we've learned, what's been passed down to us from faithful Christians who have discipled us, and we're just passing that on to someone else. It could, be, it could be stuff about prayer. It could be, here's how to read your Bible. It could be, you know, it could be a number of things in, included in the Christian faith. But can I tell you, it's, it's not this complicated process where we have to come up with this, you know, amazing curriculum and this, this amazing, you know, study and, and this amazing plan. It's really just life on life. Some of the most impactful moments as I was in Joplin uh, in college discipling students in the youth group is is playing games with them, going to the grocery store with them, um, you know, going to their, their soccer games or, or their basketball games and having conversations with them. We, we had these moments where they got to see how I would interact with other people. And, and I got to see how they would interact with other people. We got to do, um, you know, they would ask me to, to pray for something. And we would just pray right there. And they would just say, oh, like prayer is not this big, scary thing. It's life on life, relational living and and so can i encourage you with something if if uh if you're not currently being discipled make a list of five people five gray beards people who are older in the faith who are who are a bit more spiritually mature in the faith who you look at and you respect and you go man i want to be discipled i want to be mentored i want to grow deeper in my faith and i want you to help me do that make a list of five people and i challenge you go through the list Start with your number one pick and, and just call them up and say, hey, would you be willing to mentor me? Maybe you're on the opposite end of the spectrum. Maybe you are currently being discipled, but, but you, need to, you need to pass it on to someone else. Well, can I encourage you? Make a list. Five people where you look at it and you say, well, maybe, you know, maybe by the grace of God, I have something to pass on. And uh, make a list of five people that you say, I, I could pass what I've learned on to that person and call them up. Be like, hey, are you currently being discipled or mentored? Do you wanna start a mentoring, discipling relationship? Let's make this church a church that is actively one-on-one -on -one discipling each other. And you can, you can do this one-on-one, -on -one, you can do this in groups, but here's, here's, here's the simple challenge. Take up the call of Jesus, take up the call of Paul and actively make your life engaged and about discipling others and helping the church grow towards Jesus together. That's, that's the devotional thought. Um, I, uh, one announcement is coming up November 1st, this coming Sunday. Um, Matt will be opening up the 915 children's service. And so if you haven't been coming to church because you're like, ah, we can't really swing it or it's difficult. Hey, at 915, Matt is going to be opening up the, kid, the children's uh, worship service and um, that's happening this coming Sunday, and it's going to be super duper sweet. We're super looking forward to it. And so miss you all, love you all, looking forward to seeing you. Um, have a nice cold, maybe by, you know, maybe a fire or something like that, but have a nice Wednesday.